Good evening, I'm Lauren Culver. Thanks for watching KX News. Nicholas has the night off. A U.S. Forest Service plan released earlier this month will allow oil drilling in an area of the Badlands. Reporter Maddie Beer Temple has more on why it's drawing criticism from conservationists in tonight's top story. The Little Missouri National Grassland is now open for drilling thanks to a plan by the U.S. Forest Service. What this document does is it attempts to strike that balance between providing the energy needs and still allowing for a very high quality recreational experience by those who come out and enjoy the grasslands. The environmental impact statement signed mid-December lays out where those wells can be by opening some roadless areas to oil and gas development within a quarter mile on either side of existing roads. Badlands Conservation Alliance Executive Director Elizabeth Lose opposes that provision. These areas that are currently roadless and that are potentially suitable for wilderness are, have a really special character and those will be compromised if they put oil and gas there. Dakota Prairie Grassland Supervisor Ben South says the document included eight years of input from subject matter experts and the public. He says it'll be used to guide decision making when developers want to use the land. And take a look at this document and say, okay, is this a reasonable use of the land? What impacts will it have to the land? And is this something that is within our authority to grant? The area includes about 216,000 acres of previously protected land. Lowe says a majority of the grasslands is already open for drilling, and its effects are noticeable. When our members are hiking, um, it's difficult to get away from the sounds of oil rigs. And these particular areas that are roadless are really special, have a really special character, and so we really would like to see them preserved. But South says managing the land in this way is a win for energy production and job creation. We are a very significant contributor to our nation's energy needs. South says there are currently about 300 applications pending by those who want to lease the land for oil. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, Maddie Beer Temple. The Little Missouri National Grassland encompasses the Theodore Roosevelt National Park, and it is the largest designated national grassland in the nation. Now to our COVID-19.